Dear colleagues, this is FECO emulsification of a white non intumescent cataract. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us watch the surgical steps. The ocular surface has been thoroughly washed by povidone iodine and BSS. Now this is the main incision. It is a 2.8 millimeter incision. You can see the white cataract. Now this is a side port about 3 clock hours away from the main incision on the right side. Now I am injecting an air bubble. I want to stain the anterior capsule of this cataract with tripan blue dye. And now here goes the 0.06% tripan blue dye. Little bit of adrenaline has been injected in this case to see if the people dilates little more. Now the dye is washed out. Yes, after administering adrenaline the people has dilated little more. Now viscoelastic substance 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber and it is sprayed over the corneal epithelium and it improves visibility. Now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision and now is the time to do capsular rexis. A 26 case bent needle is introduced through the main incision and the capsule is incised and capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is healed with uterata forceps. Now see how to do rexis. Go at anticlockwise or clockwise whatever you like. Be at a certain distance away from the margin of the people and make sure that the people is dilated and it is round and you get a round rexis. This size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter or so. Now this is hydro dissection. Inject a little bit of fluid underneath the anterior capsular rim and tap the nucleus and then rotate the nucleus. Nuclear sclerosis in this case is say about grade 3 or grade 3 plus. Now I am going to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3. The vacuum is 450 and flow rate is 45 from the very beginning and the power in this case has been set at around 70 percent. You can see the brownish tinge of the cataract indicating that it is a little harder than grade 3. And now this is what I call a submarine chop. Go through the substance of the nucleus and as I cross the center I chop it. In this case the people has become a little small but if this size remains, if this size of the people is maintained, it will not be difficult to manage this case. And now chopping and emulsification of nuclear mass is in progress. The chamber is very stable. There is no surge, no fluctuation of the anterior chamber. During emulsification of the last portion, I remove the chopper so that the anterior chamber becomes more stable. And now a little bit of visco is again injected. See a small bit of nucleus or epinucleus must be removed first before like this you remove it first before you remove the cortical matter because this small nuclear bit may get lost somewhere underneath the iris and after one month or so you can see it settled in the anterior chamber angle at six o'clock overlying endothelium may be decompensated so take care to remove small nuclear bit before you remove the cortical matter. Yes, the cortex has been removed and now 
is the time to implant an intraocular lens. This is a totally unedited surgery. Yes, you are watching each and every step of the surgery. This is the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens. This patient belongs to our free service category and we can't afford hydrophobic lens in such cases. In our center we do about 30% free surgeries and 70% paying surgeries. And this is hydration of the stroma on either side of the stabilizations to make these wounds watertight. Now this is the final lavage of anterior chamber. You remove whatever material is there like visco sticking to the corneal endothelium and everything. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Thank you very much.